In this video, you will learn how to work with RFID. RFID, or Radio Frequency Identification, uses very small transponders to broadcast identification data. Bartender works with RFID-capable printers to encode data along with printing text and data onto the RFID tag. It is important to note that a driver by Seagull is required to encode RFID when using Bartender. Drivers by Seagull are available at www.seagullscientific.com forward slash drivers. Installing drivers by Seagull is easy and covered in another video. To get started, open a blank document template in Bartender. Go to the File menu and select Print to open the Print dialog. In the Printer section of the Print tab, make sure that the correct RFID encoder printer is selected before you get started. Bartender will know the different encoder capabilities of the printer, so the options Bartender presents to you throughout the design process will be based on the printer's capabilities. Once you've selected the correct printer, close the print dialog. In the object toolbar, you'll find the encoder object icon. It's at the end of the toolbar next to the picture object icon. You can also select encoder from the create menu. When you click the encoder object icon, you will open a drop-down list of the various encoder options available to you. You can also select View All Supported Encoding Technologies to access the Bartender help for more information about the different encoding technologies supported in Bartender. Select the RFID encoder type you wish to use, and the Encoder Object Properties dialog will open. Remember, you can use the Help button while working in Bartender to locate context-relevant information from the Bartender help file. Select the data location you wish to encode to. If you need to, set the start block. In the data format section, set the data type of the data string you're encoding. If you need more advanced setting options, click the Encoder Options button. In the Options dialog, you can adjust the media settings, error handling, electronic article surveillance, and user memory indicator. On the EPC Gen 2 tab, in the Access Control section, you can set the lock status for the EPC memory, user memory, TID memory, access password, and kill password. You can also set or change the access password and the kill password. After making your configurations, click the Apply button to put them into effect. Once you've configured all of the encoder settings, you can set your data string by selecting the data source for the encoder object. Here, you can enter the data in the embedded data field, or change the data source type, say, to a database field, for example, if you need to use a different type of data source. You can find videos on data sources and connecting to a database at support.segalscientific.com. On the template, an RFID encoder object will appear above the design area. Since the encoder object does not actually print on the document, it is not placed in the design area. Each encoder object may only be set to a single location or segment. If you need to encode to multiple segments of the RFID transponder, then you will need to add multiple encoder objects to the document. Each encoder object must be set to a different segment. In this example, three encoder objects are used. The first to encode the electronic product code, or EPC segment. The second to the application family identifier, or AFI segment. And the third to the user data segment. To quickly recap, in this video, you learned how to work with RFID encoder objects. Selecting the correct printer before getting started allows Bartender to present you with the appropriate encoding options available to you in the design process. Selecting the encoder object from the drop-down menu in the object toolbar opens the object properties dialog, where you can configure the encoder object. Select the data source for the encoder object to add the data string. If you need to encode multiple segments, you will need to place an additional encoder object for each segment that you want to encode. For more information about working with Bartender Designer, you can check out support.seagullscientific.com. Thank you for watching.